Here we have SAT math question. Okay, let's go the information. In the linear function h, h of 0 is equal to 41, h of 1 is equal to 40, which equation defines h? Okay, when I go over the given options, uh, the given linear function is written in the form of slope intercept form, that is in the form of h of x equals to uh, mx positive b. Okay, here m refers to slope and b refers to uh, the y coordinate at the y intercept. Usually in mathematics, when we have a function uh, defined by f of x or g of x or h of x, Actually, this is uh, nothing but the value of y in the xy plane, particularly the y coordinate. So here h of x refers to the y coordinate or y value in the xy plane. This h of x refers to uh, y. So we have h of 0 is equal to 41. So this 41 is a value of y when x is equal to 0. So I can write the point that is when x is equal to 0, the value of y is 41. And also I can write another point from this information that is h of 1 is equal to 40. Since this is a value of the function h, so this is a y value and uh, the value we have over here is, called, is a x value. That is when x is equal to 1, the y value is 40. And since the x coordinate over here is 0 in this point, this is clearly y intercept and this 41 is the y coordinate of the y intercept. So that's a value of b because uh, whenever we write uh, a linear function in slope intercept form, the constant b over here refers to the y coordinate of the y intercept. So this is a y intercept because the x coordinate is 0. So the y coordinate of the y intercept is 41. So we can plug in this 41 for b over here. Then I'm getting h of x equals to uh, mx uh, positive. Uh, for b, we can plug in 41. Okay, still we need to find the value of the slope m. For that, we can use this point. That is when I plug in x equals to 1, uh, h of 1 is equal to 40. Let me plug in h is, x is equal to 1 over here. That is h of 1 is equal to m times 1 positive 41. So what is the value of h of 1? That's uh, clearly given in the question 40. So you can plug in 40 for this h of 1. And m times 1 is m, positive 41. OK, to solve for m, I have, I have to subtract uh, 41 from both sides. When I do so, this positive 41, negative 41 will cancel out. When I simplify this one, I'm getting negative 1 equals to m. OK, now I got the value of m. And also now uh, the linear function h of x is complete. So because h of x equals to, now we can plug in this uh, negative 1 for uh, m over here, then negative 1 times x are uh, positive 41. So h of x equals to uh, negative 1 times x is just negative x uh, positive 41. So the, we find this negative x positive 41 in option A. So the correct answer choice for this question is option A.